folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World, and today it's my pleasure to go over the 2018 Freedom Elite 26HE. I love this floor plan because it's not too big of a Class C, you can still get it just about everywhere, nice slide out bed, and it's open and airy, especially with the bright colors they have in here. This one has the wicker basket interior with the Malibu maple cabinetry. Let's start off right over here on your campsite. You'll see you have a jackknife sofa. This has three seatbelts here for three additional uh, passengers, and it has armrests that are built in. I really like the armrests. Uh, if you've ever sat on a couch that doesn't have them, it's honestly pretty uncomfortable. So I do like having them here. You know, that way you can just put like an extra pillow or something here, and you have uh, a nice, comfortable place to sit. And the armrests are high too. A lot of times that's not the case when they have armrests in an RV sofa. They're really low, and it's almost awkward to put your arm on it. Not the case here at all. These are removable too. So you know if you do need to take them out, someone wants to lay down, something like that, you can do that. And again, this is a jackknife sofa, so it does lay down in, into a bed. And it's simply that. You remove the armrests, fold it out flat, and you're good to go. Then you also have some additional storage in the front there underneath that jackknife sofa. Directly above that is a big bright window. I love having big windows on the campsite because this is the view you want. You want to look out at your campsite, not out at your neighbors. Plus it lets in a lot of natural light. For nighttime, you'll see you have a couple LED lights right underneath here. And then over to this side, you also have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in any electronic devices, you know, charge a cell phone or tablet wire sitting here, you do have the access to that there. We take a look up top, and again, I love the cabinetry in here. You know, you can see that the, they kind of hand stained it. it, just gives it a really nice look. When you open this up, it is strut supported, so it's nice and easy to open as well as close. And that's big storage up there. You know, that's great storage uh, for having right above your sofa. If we take a look at the front, and again, I love what they've done on the cab over. Uh, Freedom Elite has done an awesome job. You have this soft touch right here, which not only gives it a great look and feel, but also it's easy to clean up. So, you know, if you accidentally spill something on here, whether it's someone that's sitting up here, you're sitting on the couch and, you know, you hit a bump and you spill soda or something on here, this is an easy material to clean. The other thing I love about it is it's uh, reinforced. This has a 500 pound weight capacity. A lot of your bunk overs don't have that. They're somewhere in like the 250 to 300 pound range. So I like how nice and heavy duty and reinforced this is. Also, if we take a look up top, they've built in these dividers on both sides. So you have storage in the sides. Take a look at that. Nice extra storage area right there. You can close that right down for a bed. And if you want, this whole piece is removable. So let's say you don't need the sleeping capacity. Let's say it's just two of you, you know, no kids, grandkids, family, nothing like that. You can remove all this bedding, and this is basically a big extra storage area up here. So a uh, very versatile space. You'll also see up in the corner they have some cup holders. So, you know, again, people are sitting up there, uh, you know, and they need to have a drink, maybe a glass of water at night. They have a spot in which they can put that. In order to make it into a bed, it is quite simple, just like uh, you know the rest of your class C's. You essentially take this cushion right here, drop it down and in, and that will be your bedding. And then you have these little connections so your ladder can slip right in there. That way it is easy to climb up into bed. Uh, you have a window on one side here, and you have a large swing out TV on the other. I do like the fact they put a bigger TV in the Freedom Elites because, you know, that way if when you do turn it, you're able to see it from the kitchen still or if you're sitting in the dinette or sofa. You know, a lot of manufacturers use a really small one up here, so I like the fact that it is bigger. You also have LED lights if you do need some extra li uh, lighting up here for reading, things like that. Of course, ducted AC, as you would expect. That way on those hot nights, you know, the people are un uh, up here aren't roasting because, as we all know, heat rises. And then you also have a vent here as well, so if it's a you know, little bit cooler night, you want to open some windows, open that up, you can get some nice cross ventilation coming through here. If we take a look right down below, we'll see the cab. Uh, you know, this is your standard Ford cab. If you've uh, seen one, you've seen them all. But, you know, it, it is very nice. You have uh, so cup holders in there. You have decent leg room in there as well. Right in the center here, this is something that does change from manufacturer to manufacturer, and that is your... Uh, you know, your radio as well as your backup camera. Uh, this one is pretty nice. You can see that it is touch screen. You can see me moving that. So uh, that's a big feature. A lot of them don't have that. You have USB connectivity on there, SD card slot, auxiliary inlet, and then it also is Bluetooth capable. So, you know, if you have a smartphone or something like that, you want to hook up, you can easily do that. Right down here, this is neat too. You have USB charger here and you have an HDMI port. And what that's for is screen mirroring. 
Where that really comes in handy is for GPS. It doesn't have GPS built in, but what you can do is you can use GPS on your cell phone. And so you simply plug it into your phone, then plug it into that HDMI inlet, and then your GPS will appear on that main screen. So it is, uh, again, quite simple and easy to use. Let's take a look over on the uh, off-door side here. So you have the nice Dream Dinette. Uh, again, you do have a couple additional seatbelts here for some riders. Um, and, you know, you have great space. You can see, you know, when I sit here, I have a lot of space right here in the front. That can be an issue sometimes. You know, they put you, like, jam you right up into the table. I have pretty good space, so it's easy to slide in and out. And I also have good leg room. You know, again, that's another problem is the seats are too high, the table's too low, you can barely get your legs underneath, not an issue here. You can comfortably sit four people here. You have some cup holders for the ride, you know, when you're going down the road, you have a spot to set your beverage, make sure it doesn't fall over. And this also does drop down into a bed. It's a dream dinette, so it's super easy to use. You have this lever right here. All you'll simply do is flip that over, and then the bed pushes right down. I'll show you here. I'm going to drop it down on my leg, but just like so. So, you know, obviously I wouldn't be here, but this pushes all the way down. It will sit right here along these rails. You'll then take the uh, back cushion, set them on top, and that will give you your additional sleeping space. And take a look at this. Easy access to storage. Right underneath here, you have this nice big pull-out drawer. Uh, that way you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to access anything underneath your dinette big window here and again this one you know not so much to stare out at your neighbors but it does allow a lot of natural light to come in led lights right up top as you would expect and again another electrical outlet so if you're one that uh you know is able to work while you're on the road you know that's a great lifestyle i'm jealous but uh or you know if you're just sitting here you need to plug in anything again you have the electrical outlet right to do that so you can plug in your laptop tablet things like that just like on the other side you have the nice large uh, compartments here that are strut assisted right over to this side you see you have a blu-ray player so if you do want to watch a movie all you have to do is pop it right in there it is already pre-wired to the tv so it's nice and easy to use and again great extra storage there to make our way back a little bit further we move into the kitchen space uh, so you know you have decent countertop uh, one of the things I really like they did do is they recessed the cooktop so you do have this as usable prep space that way you know you can get your food ready wash your veggies whatever you need to do another thing I like they did is they put in this rail right here that way if you do have any water runoff it's not going to run behind your dinette or anything like that uh, so it's easy for cleanup single bowl stainless steel sink but what you'll notice is it's a very deep sink Again, a lot of manufacturers, this is one of the uh, spaces they really cheap out on because most people don't know. They see stainless steel and they think one is just the same as the rest, and that is just not true. So a lot of times they're really shallow bowls and you can't fit pots and pans down in there. Not the case here. They also give you the pull-out spray faucet, so it is very easy to wash and rinse those dishes. As you'd expect, a kitchen here right behind the uh, sink, so you are able to, again, have that light. LED lights right up top. You have two of them here. You also have an electrical outlet. You know, this is naturally probably the place you're going to put like your coffee maker or your toaster, things like that. You can simply and easily plug it in right there. Directly above that, you see good storage with an adjustable shelf. This way, you know, you can adjust it if you have like a Pam cooking spray or something that's a little bit taller. You know, you can make room for that, or if it's just spices, you can lower it down. Uh, but again, it gives you that versatility. Storage up here, right above the microwave. You know, try not to waste any space. That one's a little bit tougher if you're short. I'm about six foot, and I can still reach into the front of it here, but, you know, you may need a uh, step stool or be a little bit taller to be able to get all the way to the back. Microwave directly underneath that. And then if we drop down, you know, one of the things I like is they have this uh, top on here, so that way anything that, you know, when you're cooking, you know, a lot of times you're cooking, like, bacon and stuff like that, and you get all the grease coming up, and generally the bottom of your cabinets get all nasty. That's not a problem here because they have this metal plate, so it's super easy to clean off. And they put an actual LED light in there, which I like. A lot of times you have a hood with a really small, you know, uh, standard incandescent light, and it just doesn't do a whole lot. It's still dark when you try to turn it on. This LED light will make sure that your cooking surface is nice and bright. And again, it's talking about cooking. You can just fold this guy up and back. You'll see this also doubles as a backsplash. So that, again, this is nice and easy to clean here too. Three burner cooktop. The front one is high output. Then when we drop this down, you'll see you have an oven right underneath for baking. Um, this, this is just a pan. I, I almost tried to open it, but you'll see this has hinges on both sides here. Uh, you have, uh, I, 
I don't want to say it's the water heater, but you do have stuff back there. So if it's for access, if you need to access it, you can take the hinges off. Um, but again, you know, they, they did that because it looks a lot nicer than just having a flat panel, so they put a much nicer panel on that. We take a look underneath the sink, you see you have a trash can here. So this is a great spot for a trash can, it's naturally where you want to put it, and I like the fact that they gave you a trash can, because honestly, half the battle is finding a trash can that fits in the space that's provided, if they provide you a space at all, they've already taken that uh, issue out of it for you. Right on the front here is your main control panel. You'll see your tank monitoring system and everything is right there. Gen start is there as well, water heater and pump. And underneath that, you have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. You'll see how they're nice and deep here as well, which is important because a lot of times, you know, you don't just have silverware. You have a lot of your bigger utensils like your spatulas, your, you know, spoons for cooking, things like that. They'll be a lot longer. They can actually fit in these drawers. If we take a look back across the way, uh, take a look at the entryway here. Directly above it, you have some storage. Uh, again, you know, this one is a little bit tougher to reach. It's a little bit taller, but, uh, you know, it, it is still good usable storage, still strut assisted, so it is one hand. Directly underneath that, this is something I like that they did. You have the easy grab handle right here next to the door. Uh, you know, the steps are built inside, so this makes it really easy to exit the coach. So I do like that. Uh, again, it gives you that. Uh, extra control that you want to make sure you aren't tripping and hurting yourself. Fire extinguisher right to the side. Hey, hopefully you never have to use that, but that is something that you always want to take a look at. You know, where is the fire extinguisher? It's generally by the door in most RVs, but uh, again, important that it is functioning in case of emergency. And then right over to the side here, I like this as well. They built in a coat closet. This is something you just don't get in class C's. So I like the fact you walk in, you know, take your jacket off, your sweatshirt off, hang it up right there. Uh, I think that was a great addition. And then directly underneath, you'll see right down here, you have uh, power awning as well as your awning light. You also have a step light. This is something, again, that I think, you know, sometimes it's a small things that manufacturers put in that really catch my eye, and that's one of them. That way, when you leave for the night, you can just leave that step light on. It's just enough that you're able to see when you come inside, not trip over yourself. Uh, so I think that's a cool feature. And then your battery disconnect is there as well. So again, that way it's nice and easy to kill all power when you're entering or exiting the RV. Right across the way here, take a look at this. Uh, you know, if you're thinking, well, gee, Ian, I love the kitchen, but I'm just missing pantry space. Don't worry. They provided that as well. Nice big pantry here. I love this, too. They gave you these beautiful finished fronts. Again, most manufacturers wouldn't do that. So you pull that out. You can see how deep these are right here. So, you know, some of your bigger, taller items you're able to fit in there. Maybe even it's like some smaller plates. You might be able to uh, kind of stack in there if you want, or paper plates, you know, where they're not going to rattle around. Uh, but those are some really deep, cool drawers. Over to the side here, back up top. Again, more storage right up there. You can see that right underneath. Norcold fridge freezer combo. Look at that. Plenty of space there. Cut out for some of your taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric. Another thing I like about it is the thermostat on this unit is right on the outside. So you can easily adjust it uh, based upon how cold you want it. Right over here, you have mirrored wardrobes. It's a perfect spot right here. I mean, you can't see it on film, but I can see myself perfectly, which is great. I mean, pretty much from head to toe, which is awesome. Open this guy up. You can see right in there, you have your hanging rod, which is exactly what you would expect. You know, if you want to put like a small laundry basket in the bottom here, you can do that too. Uh, but I like the fact the wardrobe is super easy to access and it's a very functional mirror. And then underneath that, you have four full extension drawers, you know, for all the other... Uh, Things that you can't hang up that you need to fold, your socks and underwear, what else, you know, everything goes right in there. Right over to the side here in the corner is the bathroom. Uh, if we take a look at the bathroom here, one of the things I do want to mention too, look at the door here. You know, the door closes very well, which is great. You know, you don't have to worry about it bouncing back open on you. I really do like that. And it's, uh, you know, gives you some extra privacy in there too. Because a lot of manufacturers, again, you know, they'll have like a big gap in the bottom or something or up top. That's not the case. The door here pretty much closes all the way around. And on the back side of the door, look at this. You have a place for your towels. That's cool too, right? You know, you have a towel rack just built in, so you, you don't have to worry about a place to find those either. When we do come in the bathroom, uh, it is a little echoey, but you'll see it is nice and spacious in here. So we'll start right over here on the sink top and vanity stainless steel bowl. You know, so again, nice upgraded uh, amenities in here. Electrical outlet. You have to have a spot for your curling iron, hair dryer, everything else. Some storage underneath, as you would expect. You know, your P-trap's a little bit in the way there, but not too bad. 
toilet paper holder is already installed and it's easy to reach. You know, that's one of the problems I see in the bathrooms. You never know where it's going to be at. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top, good storage right there. LED light up top, again, you know, for your vanity so you can see yourself as you're getting ready in the morning. Uh, you had, do have a vent fan right up top here to quickly help moisture escape. Over to the side there, you have a nice big skylight in the shower. That lets in a lot of natural light, gives you some headroom. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, one of the other things I love is this right here. You have a grab handle, which makes it nice and easy to get in and out of the shower. You know, they realize that a lot of your bathrooms, trying to work your way around the toilet can be really tough. So giving you this handle really gives you the extra support. I think that was an awesome idea. Right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Porcelain bowl, folks. Nice and easy to clean here. Again, the nice upgraded amenities. When we step into the shower here, I'm six foot. I don't even need the skylight. You can see I have plenty of room, but if you're a really tall person, no worries. You know, I mean, you have a ton of space up here. You also have the uh, hand wand. You know, it's hanging down right now, but the hand wand is nice and easy to use. Lets you shower up real easily. Just kind of tucks right in there. That acts as your shower head. You also have some good shelving for all of your shampoo, soap, things like that. And you have the built-in shower door right here. Uh, the reason I like this shower door is it doesn't take up a lot of space, right? It's nice and simple and easy to use. Just push it over, locks into place. It's spring-loaded, so it retracts when it's done. You don't have to worry about a bunch of water and stuff going all over your floor. So uh, I think they did a good job there, too. Lastly, let's take a look at the bedroom. So as I had mentioned, in the 26HE, you have the uh, slide-out bed here, which means this is a foldable mattress, but I'm telling you, you won't feel the seam. When you lay down in here, you know, the seam is basically like right here, and you don't feel it at all. So it's, I mean, it's basically, you know, like underneath your knees, kind of, so no worries there. It is quite comfortable. Both sides, you have good shelf space, not only right up top underneath the windows, but they have this second built-in shelf right there, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, you know, if you have a place you need to put your cell phone, you can do it right there. Both sides of the bed have an electrical outlet. So, again, you need to plug things in, whether it be a uh, CPAP machine or a cell phone, whatever it may be, you have the space in which you can do it. This is something that's pretty cool, too. You'll see right back here, there is a slight bump up, but if you notice... Again, I'm six foot, I still have plenty of headroom. Even standing here, I can easily get in and out of bed. You know, I don't have to duck down, try to worm my way around. I think that's really cool. Good storage all the way across the top of the slide here. You know, the strut assisted as you'd expect, so it's one hand operation. Windows on both sides of the slide. You know, you want some light, some ventilation. That's great. Big window right back here too. And then you have a spot built in for a TV. Another thing I like they did, most manufacturers here, they just would have put you know, a spot to mount it on the wall, right? What uh, Freedom Elite has done is they've actually recessed the spot for the TV. That way you can walk by here. Otherwise, the TV would be in the way, and again, you'd have to bend over you know, to be able to walk through. And as I mentioned, it's some of the small things that manufacturers do, and this is one of them that I really like. Uh, HDMI output, uh, or yes, the uh, HDMI input, rather, is right there as well. Then right down here, this is your thermostat, and this is your control for your slide for your uh, slide rooms. That way it's nice and easy to use. You can still reach it when you're entering or exiting the RV. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Freedom Elite 26HE. Let's start on the chassis. Uh, this one is built on the Ford F350. It houses a 6.8 liter V10, putting out 305 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. If we uh, take a look up top, you see the nice front cap on there. This is great. Not only does it give it a really nice aesthetic and clean look, but it also helps a little bit with insulation values up top. Uh, and again, you know, you can see how nice and aerodynamic the front end is here. So that way, you know, it's not as much of a big wind wall as a lot of Class C's are. If you take a look at the mirrors on the sides here, they do extend, so you're able to see around the side of the home, as you would expect. Also, they are bi-directional, so it has the smaller mirror on there, which helps you cover your blind spots. Also helps make sure you're staying within the lanes while you're driving down the road. The power awning on here is massive. You'll see it covers the entire home portion. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there and an LED light strip underneath, so that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Of course, unless you have super festive ones and you want to, uh, but it is nice to have that light. Just flip of a switch and you are good to go. This was that nice big window we saw inside that sits right above that sofa. As I mentioned, gives you a great view to your campsite as you would expect. 
because this is probably where you will set up the majority of your campsite right here. And then one of the other things I love when manufacturers are able to do this on a floor plan is give you big campsite storage because this is generally you know where you're going to want to uh, go for all your stuff. You're, you know, yeah, you can walk around to the off door side, but I love it when it's a big one here, and that is certainly the case. A covered hinge, of course, you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. Nice and easy to uh, lock that up into place. You don't have any black clips or anything to worry about breaking off. When we take a look inside the storage area, you have this nice uh, roto cast in here, so this isn't going to rust out on you. You know, if you get water in here, who cares? No big deal. You also have a light right up here, so if you have to get in there at night, you can do that. And again, you can see the connections on here. Super simple. You just put it up push it into place. You know, kid comes by and shoves it down or you forget and shove it down, nothing's going to break, no big deal. And honestly, if you want to keep it up just like that to have easy access to your bin while you're, you know, sitting there at camp, you can do that too. To get into the coach, it's nice and simple. You have a grab handle right here. I showed you the one on the inside, but you need some control outside as well. Open this guy up just like so. Uh, the door here I like too, the screen door. When this guy's closed like this, you have this little plastic shroud here, right, so no bugs get in. No big deal. You still have a handle right here on the outside. That way you can still open and close the screen. So that's a pretty handy feature there as well. Also, the door is on a strut, so, you know, that way you don't have to worry about contending with your door on your uh, storage area there. They're not going to run into each other. Making our way back a little bit further, electrical outlet right down here. If you need to plug anything in, this is the place to do it. You know, I, I like that too. I mean, again, most RVs have an electrical outlet somewhere on the campsite, but this is great because you have this big open space right here. You can set up a small little table, you know, put in like a crock pot or something there if you want, electric griddle, you know, sit out here and cook breakfast for people, whatever, but I do like the fact that that is there. Now let's talk about one of my favorite parts about the exterior of the Freedom Elite, and that is the outside skin here. This is what they call the HD Max fiberglass. It's a colored uh, high gloss fiberglass on there. It's a gel coat. And the thing I love about it is it's a very high end fiberglass. You're looking at it, you know, it gives you that look and appeal of having a paint job, but it is a lot easier to repair. If you, you know, get a big scrape or scratch on paint, especially if it's going through two or three colors, it can be very expensive to repair. This is a lot easier. You can buff this, you can buff out those scratches. And if you do get a scratch because it's colored all the way through, not a huge deal. It's not going to be a big white scratch. It's much less noticeable. So great exterior here on the 26HE. We come around to the back side. They have a covering on the bumper, you know, so uh, uh, th this way, or painted rather, so that way you don't have to worry about the bumper looking all dirty and dingy and rusty after a little while. You know, you do have storage in here, just like you'd expect. You can pop that off, throw your sewer hose in there. On the other side, you have your ladder. Notice what they did. They put a little grip strip on the bumper. They know that this can be slick if it gets wet, so that grip strip will give you that first step and make sure you have control. As I mentioned, the little things. Now, but this is a fully walkable roof. This will allow you to get up on the roof, get up there for any kind of maintenance or anything, you know, just uh, do some basic checks, which I definitely recommend doing, you know, at least once or twice a year on any RV. Then you'll see right there in the center, you have your backup camera. Uh, this way, you know, if you're backing up, you can see what you're, uh, what's behind you. That way you can avoid hitting anything or more importantly, anyone. Take a look right underneath. You have your hitch right here. One of the things I love about Freedom Elite again, 8,000 pound hitch. If you have something heavy that you want to tow, this coach can do it. Now, bear in mind, just because it has an 8,000 pound hitch, it doesn't mean you can pull 7,900 pounds if you load this thing up inside, okay? If you t plan on towing, you know, something that's that heavy, make sure you pack a little bit lighter, but the coach can definitely do it, and the fact it has that hitch, in my opinion, is a huge benefit. So we take a look at the off-door side. This is the slide-out bed right here. But again, look up top. They give you a slide-out topper. That's really nice, too. So, you know, normally, if you don't have a slide-out topper, what you have to do is when you're done camping, you have to get up on the roof, you have to take a broom, make sure you sweep off the top of your slide. Otherwise, when you go to put that slide in, if there's like an acorn or a pine cone or a big stick or something on there, it can get into that seal, damage and cut your seal, and then you have leak issues. So by having that topper in there, that will help avoid all that. Pine cone, acorn falls on top of that topper, no big deal. When the slide rolls in, all that will roll off. So uh, that is, again, not something that is nice to have, especially straight from the manufacturer. When we take a look underneath, not only did you have the big storage area on the door side, but look at this. You have a nice big storage on the off door side here too. 
I love the hinges, it keeps the door open. You'll see you have a light in there, so if you, again, need to get in here at night, you can do that. But this is another great storage area here. So, you know, some big storage options on the outside of the 26HE. Moving up a little bit further, this will be your fuel fill because it is the uh, 4350, it is gasoline. This one has your 55 gallon fuel tank. TV inlet right next to that. And as you move up a little bit further here, how cool is this? So, and if you're like me, you know, this is something that I've battled with before. You have your, uh, your electric, co or electric cord just coiled up in there. You pull it out, you hook it up, everything's good. You go to leave in the morning, it's a cold morning. This thing doesn't want to bend. You're sitting there fighting with it, trying to jam it in, or vice versa. You try to get it out and it's knotted in here. It's a huge pain. You gotta try to stick your hand in this hole, try to undo it. They alleviated all that by giving you a simple lock right here where this can swing open. So if it's knotted up in there, who cares? Undo the lock right there, swing it open, you can get in there, pull the whole thing out, unknot it yourself, and then just feed it right back through. Uh, you know, when I was talking about the little things, that is one of them right there. It just, it's a simple solution to a, a very common problem. Right next to that is your water heater. Something else I like that they've done, they color matched. Most manufacturers don't do this, especially on a Class C in this price point. You know, normally they would just give you a white or black cover, sticks out like a sore thumb, but they did color match it to the exterior. Right down here is your generator. You know, it's a Class C, it has to be self-sufficient, so they do. They give you the Cummins Zone in 4,000 watt Jenny. This one does run off gasoline. And again, like all of your Cummins Zone, and it does have a safety stop in there, so it won't completely run you out of fuel and leave you stranded. Right down, or right over here is your propane fill. Again, fairly easy to get to. And then take a look at this, right over to the side. How cool is this? You know, generally if you have to empty out your fresh water tank, it's a big pain. You gotta dive, you know, down underneath, get on your hands and knees, not the case at all. You're done camping, you wanna, you know, get rid of your fresh water, just simply flip the valve, it's right there, super easy to get to. And then your water inlets are directly above it. You have your tank fill right here and your city water connection right next to that. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Thor Freedom Elite 26HE. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and remember, it's a beautiful world out there, so let's go camping.